So on the table here, we have some sunflower seeds. Uh, should we be preoccupied with feeding this to our birds? Well, for many, many years, this was often the sole diet that parrots used to be offered, and, and that was quite preoccupying. Now, what many people fail to realize is that a sunflower is not cultivated for parrot uh, caretakers or for the parrot industry. Uh, sunflower is actually cultivated for it to have the maximum oil in it as it is principally used and sold internationally for its properties of offering an oil mm -hmm. used for cooking. Uh, no one in the industry, uh, aside from parrot people, are preoccupied with the fact that it is highly palatable and that birds tend to overdo it when they're offered quantities of it. And so it should be offered with care. And, and these are the types of oily seeds that should be offered with your hand. Right. Definitely offered or perhaps hidden in one or two foraging boxes once in a while. But this should not be offered at libidum. What a lot of people confuse when we're talking about the fat content is often in our seed mixes, our very healthy seed mix, we include safflower. Mm -hmm. In French we call it cartam. And, and these are the very popular seed mixes that are the healthy choice. Now safflower is actually higher in fat content, but mm -hmm. it is less palatable. So they'll consume less. So they'll consume less and they won't become as neurotic about eating it and seeing it. Uh, eyes rolling over and pupils dilating, mm -hmm. and this is what used to be almost a drug seed. And in, in the past, you know, there were numerous articles were written about whether or not this actually contains some kind of a drug for some of these birds. And, and, and the reason is, is that it's highly palatable, and I tend to be the same with a bag of Lay's potato chips. <laughs> I mean, once I eat one, it's impossible to stop me. So the ideal thing is to just have a bag that ha only offers a few, mm -hmm. or to make it something that you definitely work for. Mm -hmm.